Hey guys, welcome to my crib. This is Sloppy Edition. So, just to show you where we're living at and the struggle is real. This is our pantry right here. And if it's dark, it's because the lights are off and they won't come on. So, we don't make your little blackout. This is my team, Team Ripples. You know, little cubby where we have all our delicious food. Um, and each team has their own little cubby. But the struggle is real because we do have mice. And the mice do like to try to get into our food because they're jerks. But yeah, let's show you our kitchen. Rosie is actually preparing a meal right now. So this is our beautiful Why? kitchen. You see that beautiful headlamp right there? <laughs> That's because we got no electricity right now. No power though. No power. Struggle is real. But this is where we do our beautiful meals. Delicious, delicious food. We go between two people, two scenes cooking. And so, yeah, this is how we do our meals. It's also really ridiculously hot because there's no air flow at all. But, let's check out. So this is our living space. So this is where we actually get to hang out our one huge table. Um, where we do multiple things from 13. I learned president, by the way, today. It's a wonderful game where I actually won multiple times in a row, by the way. But yeah, Bible studies, breakfast, all the fun stuff. As you can see, we don't have enough. It's also half squad month, so that means half of us are here, which is like 20 of us, 20 something of us, and that's not enough space for us, so some of us eat in the floor. Also, water's not safe to drink here, so here's my team's fresh supply of water. We just got here. So that's fun. And now for the living quarters, where we actually sleep, breathe. And here is the mom. And like I said, it's dark because lights are off and struggle is real. Also, this room has a little mice infestation. A jerk little villain who tries to attack these poor innocent babies. Also, a true story, it ate and was very revengeful and broke Caitlin's um, hair flow. Look, look at this. This is exhibit A. What did, I, what did I ever do to it? Look at it. You want to know, you want to know where that other headphone is? You want to see it? I found it the other day. Right under my bed. A tiny, tiny, tiny guy. He just bit it off and dropped it there. <laughs> like the A hole that he is. <laughs> Not oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, Patty. Hi. So, this is my crib edition. This is Patty Pat. You might recognize her from Hello. my previous videos. But let's check out her shower condition. So, here they are. They're disgusting. Um, at least these don't drain. So you get water, you know, I'm trying to not get my, my pants wet, but that's what we get the honor of bathing in. Look at all that goodness, that delicious, delicious water that is in. But yeah, so that's part of one of our, this is like one team just sleeping here, but the master bedroom is even more elegant, more crafty, more beautiful, really just more beds in one room. And we're next to the drain, so it stinks. So, here is my second crib. So, here is JB, Jay Bizzle, and Lindsay watching a movie. You know, this is tasty. No. Yeah, no, it's a little dark in here, you know, lights out. And this is my crib. You know, I have the honor of having a nice little lamp there. But this is where the majority of other people sleep. But yeah, so that's our second room. So we will have, so we will have a big, big squat, and even though it's half a squat month, there's a lot of people. So for us, beautiful co-ed team, our wonderful boys, and some of our girls because we have no space get this beautiful living condition so so this is Jonathan say hi Jonathan hello so that's his crib and so this is a little Kiki that's mine 
Yeah. So this is where we all get to sleep. This is Lindsay, Brandon, Brandon Emily, and some other more people. Annabeth. A lot of people. That's all I got. Oh, we got. But yeah, so. And I know you guys have been wondering, how do we use the restroom? How do we pee and or do number dose? So let me show you the struggle that it is. Oh, life might be coming on. But here is our wonderful bathroom for the girls' ladies' room. So we're only allowed you see, you see that wonderful thing right there? This one doesn't flush. So we gotta throw water in it. This one does. But, so that's just for your number one necessities. This is our gentleman's one. But you're wondering, how do we poop? I know, it's a big question in your mind. So I'm gonna show you the struggle that it is and what we like to call in this plot, the walk of shame. Follow me. Okay, so I didn't So if you're wondering, how do we poop? Where do we poop? And that's a lot of poop. I'm just saying, 20 something of us. This is our wonderful walk machine. Oh, also, this is the playground, by the way, where the kids come. We have a care point, and that's what we're staying at, so that means kids 24-7. We're approaching. These right here are what we like to call the Cooper. Cooper. No, I'm just kidding. This is where we actually get to do number two. Prepare yourself for this. <laughs> it's not as bad. You kind of get used to it after a while. Race life. But they smell really bad. A little vapor up or peppermint oil helps real well. But this is where we get to do our dirty business. You know? Especially if it's just so fun. Ew, it's so nasty. And then, oh, it smells so bad. We got number two. I'm not gonna go in there because if I don't got to, I don't want to. It smells so bad. It's just like the smell is ridiculous. Um, and it's even worse when it's been raining and you really gotta poop and you gotta make the walk of shame under the rain. Or it's really dark and you just gotta pray that you don't have to go in the middle of the night. But yeah, folks, here is our crib all the way in Nosogo, Swaziland. It's been great, guys. It's hard, but this is the race. Honestly, some, some months are not as bad as these, but yeah, this month has been a, a really great adventure when it comes to living quarters. Lights have gone out, so we have a lot of blackouts. Water has been running out. Water's not clean this month, so we actually have to buy a lot of water. Um, and when you're in a co-ed team, I'm just saying, guys can really chunk some water. Um, and just also having to shop. The closest grocery store is like 20 minutes away, but the one that we actually go and shop for food for the whole week is like 30, 40 minutes away. Um, and so, yeah, it's definitely an adventure. It's crazy, um, but that's the race. And we're on month 10, guys. It's crazy that the race is almost ending. Also, just wanted to quick apologize because I haven't done any videos. Um, and there won't be one about travel day because I actually got really sick this past travel day. Kind of threw up all over myself. So let's just say filming wasn't really my priority. So I'm one, I'm really sorry for not doing a lot of videos. Two, Wi-Fi sucks. We actually have to go, there's actually a place, what, 30 minutes away from here that you can get Wi-Fi, but it's really horrible Wi-Fi. Um, but we usually go during the weekends an hour and a half away or two hours away um, just to get better Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for checking out my crib. 
Sophia.